Okay, so I just grabbed this cherry picker software. Uh, sort of will allow us to see whether or not a certain niche within our local real estate marketplace might be a viable way to go, whether or not we should be able to rank for this niche pretty quickly uh, for the keywords related to the niche. Now, in a lot of big markets, uh, a lot of markets across the country, uh, there are tons of townhomes and there are plenty of people searching who specifically want to live in a townhome, to buy or sell a townhome. But I've noticed that very few people actually have sites dedicated to townhomes, uh, blogs, uh, you know, uh, blog sites. Nobody's really doing video, a lot of video content on YouTube related to, you know, your city name, townhomes. So it just seems to me uh, that that would be an opportunity to exploit. And let's see if Cherry Picker can confirm this or maybe refute it. Uh, so I'm doing a search for York, PA townhomes. And the first thing I notice is that there are, are zero, literally zero realtors competing for these terms. So none of our competition, it looks like mostly what we have are people who are like the big sites, uh, American Home, uh, Apartments for Rent, let's see, Homes.com, Oodle, um, and very few inbound links to these sites for the URL. I mean, very few. We're looking at zero, six. This one has 69. Um, but we can be certain that if we went to these sites, we'd find that they're not creating regular content related to York, PA townhomes. Um, now, if you, if you search, and we're not going to do this now, but I'm sure you would find that there is some volume there if you did if you search the keywords. Not a ton, but you'll find that it's not very that there's there's a little bit of volume. There are home buyers and sellers searching York, PA townhomes, and at a glance, there's nobody here. Uh, really trying to rank for those keywords. Let's see what else. Luxury homes. Let's go into a much bigger market. I'm going to stop, reset. Go oh, luxury condos, Philadelphia. Now, is this something that within a few months, if I'm new to this market, is this something that I'm going to be able to, to uh, get uh, very easily, sort of rank for very easily with my site? And what I see here is that there are plenty of sites with hundreds of links to them uh, for these keywords, luxury condos Philadelphia. And I'm sure if we search condos Philadelphia, uh, we find that there are a lot more sites with, who have been working on their SEO for a while, have more links coming to them. Uh, it just seems to be more activity at a glance compared to our, our townhomes example in a smaller market. Uh, if I switch this to just condos, we'll see that the link numbers The size of the sites also go up. You'll see pages indexed. You get some monster sites here with a lot of pages indexed. So um, it would be up to you. You know, it just this basically just helps you understand whether or not it's worth your effort. You know, more competitive equals more traffic. So if you think you've got something, you know, uh, like uh, condos, and you can you can get up there with the big boys, then you'll go after it. If you think that relative to other niches, uh, it just looks too competitive, then maybe you won't. If we go Philadelphia dog parks, knowing that most people who search for a home who have a dog are going to look for dog parks, especially in big urban areas, we'll find that the, the, just the competition based on links, linking alone, uh, is a lot less. Uh, so maybe we'll, we'll say, let's start with our dog parks do a site dedicated to that, try to rank for that keyword uh, to generate some buyer seller leads, uh, buyer leads mostly on the quick, and maybe we'll save our condos, Philadelphia condos, for a longer term strategy, knowing that we've got to work a little harder to establish our site there. So that's just a quick demo. Um, you know, you can go real long tail, affordable homes, Philadelphia. Maybe you want to work the low end niche just to try to get some first time home buyers. And you'll notice that none of your, it's nice to see whether or not other real estate companies are doing this. Because you know that if you go out there and you start creating content every day, chances are good you're going to start to rank for some of these keywords. So that's it. This is a quick demo. Uh, just a fun toy to play with. It's not a complete SEO tool, but it's pretty handy. It's free. Uh, it's worth grabbing and a lot of fun. I think the funnest part really is just to see whether or not your competition's on their game and whether or not you can oust them. I mean, we're 
sad to say, but we, we, love, uh, <laughs> we love the competition in real estate, right? Okay, thanks a lot.